You play cards. Do I want to go tutorial or do I just want to go single player? Um, hmm. Because you can probably tutorial me, right? If you, yeah, if I explain it to you while you play an actual game, that might be a bit better than the tutorial. Just tutorial. Okay. At least for watching. Yes, because I'm sort of the tutorial goes through nice and slowly. And... Yeah, they're very slow and they're very. This is the terminology we use for this. And, and... Right, so this is basically saying blah 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 blah. You control cards, magic. Mm. I think, isn't it? That's basically mm. the story. You control. You can control. You you are a magic man. And one sec, that's my wolf. That is yours. They're both the same size. Yeah. <laughs> that was close. Um. Yeah, you you are a magic person that jumps between like worlds, and uh, you can summon things to do your bidding. Cool. Like it says there. Blah blah. Mm. blah. Right, continue. I don't want to go back now. I know a very very minor amount of the story as well. On a most planes of existence, the vibrant of Manor Ridge Chandler drifts through the multiverse on an unpredictable path. What was that noise? That was you clicking the continue button. It went... No, it was kind of a... Not the ch noise. No, there was another noise. I didn't hear I it. I just put my headphones going... What do I do here? Uh, you click him. He's the first one. No. So I'm Eddie the D. Oh, can, look at me! I'm cool. You can choose your picture. You get two decks to start with. You've got okay. the fire and the green. Okay. I would recommend green. I was gonna say he looks like he's made of water. I want to use grass. No, it doesn't quite work like that. So it's not quite Pokemon style. No, no, no. But okay. Like there are the five colors which are important, but they don't like direct. They don't have like bonuses against each other or anything. But they do have their own style of play, each of the colours. And okay. then you get like dual colour decks and stuff. So just, just start. start dual. Alexi Bricklot. Yeah, he's the artist of this picture. He was on some card at some point. I don't know <laughs> what card, but. Tower round plays first. You can keep his hand, this right. hand or draw a new hand of seven cards. Okay, so when you draw your hand, you have seven cards and you can mulligan once, which, well, you can mulligan as many times as you want, but the idea is when you mulligan, you if you don't like the hand you've got, you put them away. Yeah. And then the first time, you can draw out seven more. Yeah. If you mulligan a second time, you have to leave a card and only get six and... So, oh, okay. And so, then a, and then five and then four and then yeah, because I can blackjack. You can do that, isn't it? With fourteen, I think you can mulligan. Can you? Okay. I think so. In some rules, you can. So what do I want to do? So how do I even play this? Game? Um, middle click zooms in on a card. Okay. I believe. Don't show again. So land is kind of like your energy in Pokemon, but you don't attach mm -hmm. it to anything. You just kind of have land on in on play. The, okay, you have to put it on in play then. Yeah. So um, that's a, like search your library for forest cards. Now, each card in the if you bring up a card, no, like not a land oh, card. Oh, these ones. Yeah. Up in the top uh, top right corner, mm -hmm. you have a number and. If you look at another card, it'll be better. It'll show it off better. Okay. Wow. What? That's weird. You can't see the mouse. Okay. Whatever. Um. What? Oh, okay. Yeah. See, you've got a one and then a tree. Yeah. That means one mana that you play one sort of land. Okay. So, so you tap those. lands to get mana. Right. Right. And that's automatic in this game, but it's not in the. Like you, in the card. In the card. In the, in the actual. Cards, yeah. yeah. But um, you you know. Why and is different? It's just different art. They just have okay. different art sometimes. So you've got, for example, if they if you look at that one at the end you were looking at. This one. Yeah. That one tree and the number one means that you play one green mana, and okay. one of any other kind of mana to okay. bring out that to play that card. So that's what that means. 
and there are different card types, sorceries, creatures, we'll go through all that when you get to it. Okay, so... That's a creature, that's an artifact. So, should I keep this hand? Uh, it mm, seems like a reasonable hand. Okay. And so, 20 sort of damage points, is it? Yeah, that's your health points. Okay. So... Light of hand. Look at the top two cards of your library, put one of them ooh, on your hand and the other on the bottom of the library. So he's he's sort of shoot, yeah, he's doing that. He's so you want to click continue. Oh right. So, so every turn you draw at the start of your turn you always draw a card. So I now have five forests. Yeah, just play any of them, doesn't which matter which. Them, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, you don't have enough to actually play anything at the moment, but... No. Alright, so that just automatically ended, I see. Mm. Now, you'll notice, when it gets to your turn, I'll explain it, but... Oh. Quick move trick is hexproof until the end of turn. Beginning of your upkeep, put a 1 plus 1 counter on an equipped creature if it's blue. So, 1 plus 1 means a kind of a buff. Okay. And uh, hex proof means I can never. Hex proof means that your opponent can't target that creature. Okay. So more forest. Yeah, and another forest, and now you can play one of your two cards. What, so not that one. The ones with the border around them, the glowing. So that one, green spells you cast cost one less to cast, which is pretty useful because you're a green deck, yeah. everything is green. And search a library for a forest card and put that card onto the... So just get an extra forest out this turn. Yeah. Yeah? Use that one? You could do. Um, mm. Yeah, go on. That's not... Okay. Oh, which bit of forest do I want? Oh. Hard decisions. That one. <coughs> I see, so the card, so this is like your mana and then it. And then that becomes naught, yeah, that goes back once you're. Ah, uh, uh, that's not good. Yeah, that's a flying okay. creature, which means that it can o only other flying creatures can block it when it attacks. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay, well, that sounds fun. However, that particular creature, it's, as it said on on its card, can only block other flying creatures. So if you sent a land creature over, it just went bonk. Yeah, he wouldn't be able to. Ooh, what's that? Trample. Trample's an interesting one. I like trample. So trample means normally when you get into a fight, if you've got more damage than mm -hmm. the other creature has hit points, it just soaks all that damage. Yeah. If your creature has trample, then any leftover damage goes on to the player. Okay, yeah. So what, this is three, three damage, damage to, to life, basically, yeah. Okay. And that, there are a few sort of, a, there are a few sort of, uh, these, these like trample are called keywords. There's a few keywords that mess with how, how damage is resolved, but normally, when two creatures get into a fight, they just auto, you know, they both happen they at the same other, time. Yeah. So you can have situations where they take each other out at the same time. So play that. Forest card first? Or? Yeah, play a forest. And then, or, play the medallion. Play the card. And then, that should only cost one forest. Or, let's hmm? see. It didn't. Okay. That's odd. It should have. No. I can attack, can't I? Uh, no. No? Summoning okay, sickness. Okay, you cast it this turn. That's yeah, the enough. turn you cast it, they can't attack. Oh, there nice. is there's haste, which is another keyword that means they don't get that. But okay, which is there's a lot of keywords in this game that just sort of let you get around or change the rules, and that's kind of where all the complexity comes from. Yeah. And there are also cards that have like rules all to themselves that only that card can do. Look at the top, so he's got another one of them. Yeah. Okay. 
and another one. <laughs> He's gonna have such a big hand. You're, you can see the hand size. It's that number there, the four above his image, and the 47 is the size of his library. Okay, oh, fine, he's attacking you. Nothing I can do about it. Well, that's the thing. Sometimes it's you. You just have to soak hits. Yeah. It doesn't matter in the end if you win, but sometimes you just you gotta soak a hit or two. Okay, what's this? I didn't. Garrett's even... pack leader. He's pretty good. Check him out. Oh, okay. Whenever another creature with power three or greater enters the battlefield, you may draw a card. Whatever. He's there now. Yeah. This guy can hit him, but I don't want to do that. Yeah, I want to play another one of these. Yeah. Yeah. And now you can select him to attack. So during your, I never talked about phases. So if I just go through that Is quickly. It the five sort of things you see going past. Them? Yeah, yeah. So there's the In beginning purple. phase where anything that sort of says, you know, during your beginning, during your upkeep, that's when all that sort of stuff just auto okay. figures itself out. To like draw another card. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you draw. You also draw one card, at least one card every mm -hmm. beginning. Uh, then there's your met your first main phrase phase, okay. which is when you play your cards, and also you can that that has to do with sorcery cards, and there are rules with that. Okay. Then there's the combat where you select your attacker, depending on how many opponents you have, select you who you want them yeah. to attack, and then they select a blocker, and okay. they decide which of their creatures blocks which of yours. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. all right, okay. So then, see if he had a creature that could block you. If he had several, he could say, you know, all of these creatures block that one, or just this yeah. one block that one. Or... Let's see. Okay. Ooh, Jesus. Okay. Then end. It's just end. Yeah. So what's the fourth one? Because it's like main combat. What's this next? Second one? main. It's basically another main phase, so if you want to play cards after combat, mm -hmm. which can be useful Block sometimes. Card. <laughs> it's flying. You should realize that by now, game. Continue. Oh, it does four damage now. Yeah, but oh, you're going to be both. outputting yeah. like seven a turn, unless he gets something to block you. Like that, yeah. Yeah. Which basically means you're going to quickly overtake him in damage, assuming that the turns work out well for you. Yeah. It'd be nice to have something blocking, but generally speaking, I'd say you want to keep at least you you want to have some at least one <laughs> decent doing five now. He keeps buffing it. The draw cards equal oh, to the. It. You want to middle click it. Yeah. Draw cards equal to the number of cards in opponent's hand. Oh, that's only three. So I don't know what rebound means. That's not one I've come across. Okay, so he's just gonna come up and hit me. Block, yes. No. See, generally, and you know, generally speaking, you want to keep one creature capable of blocking because they can't block after mm -hmm. if they attack the last attack, round. Okay. Sacrificial Brindle Boar. Yeah. Seems quite useful. Yeah, if well. you sacrifice it, you get some life, which wouldn't be bad, because if it looks like he's going to win, you could sacrifice that, keep hold on for one turn, and then kill him or something, you know. Or just use it now? Um. You could do. Play just another in case land. He does something insane. Yeah, it did. depends. Because I can only do seven. Mm. If he like brings out another creature that's flying, then he could finish me off. Play the Brindle Boar, at least. You could sacrifice it this turn. I'm not sure if you want to. You might want to. Oh, it's gone into your attack yeah, phase anyway. So you want to keep the heat on him. So Gate. Oh, four life. I thought it was only two. Yeah, go for it then. And that's 12, and that was in the same Which means you should um, finish on two life, assuming he only does another five well, damage. I don't know, I've only got one more turn to kill him, mm. don't I? So, if he does five, I'll end on seven. Otherwise, I would have ended on like two, and that could yeah. be risky. Oh, he's, he's doing the card buff, thing again. He's buffed it again. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, if he just attacks with that. It's oh, still not. Oh, what was that? He's. 
Yep, returning it to your hand, that's what I thought. However, that doesn't matter, because he's only on three life. Yeah, and I have four. Ooh. And you will be able to tank, hopefully. Oh, yeah. That can't block your creature, though, remember that. No, and he can't hit this turn either. And it can't hit this turn, so it might... By all rights, you should be able to finish him off on your next attack yeah. turn. Okay. Then we've done bring out some super card that means like you can. Ah, uh, yeah, no, that will be able to block you. Oh, darn it. Okay, yeah. And, and he's got another, another one. one. Of course he does. See, your, right. your deck wasn't particularly great this turn. Usually green decks are all about either getting lots of creatures out very quickly, or getting big stompy creatures out. So, equip creatures, shroud and haste. Which basically means, neither you nor your enemy can target it for spells and buffs and debuffs and things. So if I go... And ha haste means it can... If I put this down... Yeah. Remember that yeah. equipment has equipment that you can uh, like you know stick on your creatures has an equip cost as well as a play cost. Oh, it's so two. This zero. one, luckily, this one is zero. Yeah. So. I still, I still can't kill him, though. Is the problem. Yeah. I'll play one of them because why not? But if I play this, then put the equipment on, then they can both attack, right? Yeah. The thing it's is, not enough damage, is it? No. But that's the only thing I can do, isn't it? Okay. And then this on that. You want to select it. Okay. And then click equip. There. Okay. That's all I can do. So yeah. You just got to I think you just got dealt a bad hand this time. Which one should I go for? Both. Just, oh yeah. Shh. Um. But, I mean, does it do it in an order, or is it? It doesn't really matter, no. What matters is the damage that the like what he selects to block. Yeah. Now see, he did three damage to that, and that's something I've been able to show so far. Mm -hmm. Is he'll go down to one. But next turn he'd be back up to four. You All have right. to deal you have to deal enough you damage to, to kill, kill them in one turn, or else they will heal okay. back up to full health. Well yeah, now he can just kill me because I have nothing to block. Mm. Which kinda sucks. But... <laughs> that hex card thing he's got on it's pretty useful. Yeah, the the ring. And he's and got that disperse as well. as well, which is annoying. This one here. Hmm. Because look, it gets plus one every turn if it's a blue yep. creature. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Go on then. Hit me. Again. Hopefully, you'll get a better hand this turn. Yeah, you said you couldn't really, really do creatures. anything for the first while. This guy's useful. Wow. Destroy artifact or enchantment, which means if he got rid, if he got that ring out again, you could re and you played that, it you goes. could destroy it. So forest down, the keep or draw. Um, I've got two you've of got, the medallion things. You've got two of the medallions, you, which is pretty good. You haven't got many lands, which could be a problem. None of your creatures. You no, haven't got no. any creatures you could get out very no. quickly. Draw so new I hand? Draw new hand, yeah. Okay, well, we got one of those, and what is that? Can't be counted. Which means. Eight and eight, that's yeah. gonna take a while, isn't it? Yeah, he's got trample. Yeah. And he can't be counted, which means when you're playing it, he can't be like. you can't. Your enemy can't play a spell to Block stop it, it to from. Okay. Yeah, no, to, not when it's attacking. When you're actually playing it, oh, okay. the so enemy like, stop it coming out. Yeah, but like the other deck doesn't have anything like that, so uh, that's I mean, not. I've got one of these as well, so that's a fairly low cost. Yeah, that's that's useful. You'll be able to get that out on your second turn, which will. Is it second or? Oh, yeah, well, it's only two. You place that and then you place that. Mm. Okay. 
Oh, he's got he's got one of them with no attack. So yeah, they don't. They can't do anything. They're just blocks. Those are interesting though because they've got no attack, but they haven't got defender, which is another keyword, which means they can't attack and they can only block. But that doesn't have defender, which basically means if he could give it some attack power, it could attack you. Okay. See, there's lots of little... Little tweaks to it. There's lots of... Yeah, all the cards are different in their own way, and you got to... There it is again, but... Yeah. Let's see, is he going to stick it on that card? Because if he is, not too much of a worry. Okay, no, it's not so right now it isn't, but it does, you know, it, it, kind of, stack it up, grows. Yeah. I think that was the problem last term. Like, we had nothing to attack it. There was no, no way we could stop it. Brindle ball, I don't need to use, do I? I can keep that, although... Should I? Um, Is there any point to just activate he's it? He's only got one blocker, which means if you put that out on the field and just kind of sent both of them against him... Next turn, yeah. Yeah. Then five damage as well would take it down. Well, no, because he it... can't block both of you. Oh, so one card is like for each. Yeah. Oh. You, when you're blocking, you can have several cards block one attacking card, but you can't have. Yeah. You know. Okay. But you can't have one block several. Yeah. If I remember the Pokemon card game, like if you choke them down, they just keep the hit counters on them, like the damage. So. Mm. That is different as in they heal all the way up at the end of the turn. Yeah. On this. Let's see. Okay. He's got another one of those. Wow. Yeah. You might have a green version of that ring. I'm not sure if. I'm not sure Let's about see. that. Now, do I want to be getting another land or something else? Uh, well, you want to always that? play a land, because playing a land, at least one land, is always free. One life foot. Well, I don't need to use that, but yeah. Do That's I. a sorcery. A source that would only come into effect once. So, however many lands yeah. you had when you played that, that's how much life you'd get, and that would be it. That's that yeah. card would be done. Basically, wait until the end, and then it can save you. Yeah. So much. Yeah. And this is. That is really good. That is six land, which is really yeah. not much for an 8 8 with trample and can't be countered. That's quite a lot of stuff. Okay, so I can attack now. Uh, you can. If you attack it, with both of them... I'll do at least two damage. You'll do at least two damage. And the AI or, is smart enough to block your three damage over your two. He's put one of the rings on so I could finish it off and just get rid of it. You can't target his creatures though. Oh, really? That's silly. If you want to target yeah. creatures... There are, there are, again, there are things that let you target creatures. But that's not like... A default part of the game. Yeah. Oh well, once that thing comes out, then to put that squash. Hmm. Continue. Go. Good job. I wish I could show you what I've like got. What I've got on yeah, here. Yeah, because you can buy loads of decks and stuff as well, can't you? Well, I haven't but bought anything. You can you unlock it. Yeah, you can unlock it as well. Okay. I also pre-ordered this, and they gave me one of the decks like full and oh, filled no. out. Why? Go away. <laughs> This is really... It's annoying, isn't it? Because there's nothing you, nothing we can do to stop it. If you can't win again, switch to the red deck. And I'll show you, like... That you might have a bit more success with. Yeah. It's just the fact that there's no counter to it in the deck. There is in the red deck, though. Yeah. So what? Just attack with both? Oh, hang on. That's the um, that's not health yet. thing. Be next. It's the health thing that's yeah. glowing, yeah. So, continue... Combat. Attack. Attack. No. No? No. No? Wait. Don't Wait. attack. When he attacks, see if he attacks with the blocker one. He might not, one actually. Attack. But you could deal. You could block with both of yours and kill it. Actually, no, because then it would be a six health creature by that time. Yeah. Yeah, go, if I go, go now, I can it. only block some of the damage, so I'll, whatever, yeah. I'm guaranteed to do mm. something. There is that stop timer button down there as well. That's yeah. useful, because sometimes you want to stop and be able to do something. Sometimes there are things you can only do in a very short window of time that you might want to, you know... 
Okay, so next turn I can play Big Mama. Yeah. And which should be able to just take that out. Yeah. So another one of them, which is kind of a pain, and there's nothing I can do to stop it. Okay, it's got a lot of stuff out that can just hit me now. I'm gonna take seven damage. <laughs> He's put both his rings on one creature because it doubles the effectiveness. It means he'll get God. double the like buff every turn. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Attack, I guess. Like I'll do something. It'll be two damage again, but I can't block the flying one. That's gonna kill your creature now. Oh well. Yeah. It would have killed it anyway if it attacked next turn. And I blocked. Mm. May as well attack both of them and do some damage. Well, I'm not sure it's going to be able to kill that, so you mm. won't attack with it. Look at it. Just good. <laughs> like nine damage. And there's nothing I can do to stop it. At all. I haven't hmm. even had the option to. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna have to play this, then this. I wasn't dead. I would, yeah. Go for that. Maybe sacrifice your boar as well. Okay, so I'm up to 14. Now, if I attack, it'll just take that out, but this has trample, doesn't it? Yeah, which means that two damage will splash over to him. But you sacrifice that because I, I wouldn't. Attack, yeah, I would. you can't do that now because it's the combat phase. That's something you do in the main phase. So you have to wait till next main phase. Okay, so it's on attack, so just mm. that. Yeah. Is he blocking it? He didn't block it at all. No. So that means he's going to attack with it then, to try and finish it next turn. Now, stop, stop timer. Oh, oh. Well, oh. well, you can do it now anyway. Four lives, so I'm at 18. Okay, how much is he going to do? Oh, he put the ring on his other yeah, flying guy. Yeah, 11, 13. Okay, so I should... Should live... What is he doing? What are he these? keeps shuffling the rings around. Okay, I can't. I'll survive this turn, but next turn I'm not sure what I'm going to be able to do. Well, next turn he's not going to be able to block you. He's not, is he? So I can just go bonk. Hmm. Better to finesse out. And he's he hasn't got the life to um. Whatever. Play that. Play that and just hit it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, I hope. Yeah, go. Ooh. Victory. Just. Yeah. <laughs> Although I couldn't actually. And do now it. you have access to his deck. Ooh, that's nice. Wow! You also unlocked a super card. I want to see the big card. Look at that. Why can't I look at it closer? Uh, that's eight mana for an eight-eight creature. But costs it costs one, one eight less for each green, green creature. creature you control, and it has trample. Yes. Green has some pretty ridiculous stuff. Okay, so now campaign ladder. 